Sup guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob McDonald and it's my absolute pleasure to bring you my reaction as a rugby player for, well, the best part of my life, um, to the NFL's biggest hits of the 2021 slash 2022 NFL season. This is going to be a two part video, it's 20 minutes long. Let's get into it. But that's football for you. Oh no! No, 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 I don't want to see this one. No, look, I can't, I can't recall whether it was the, the return man or the gunner that came out worse off. But, you know, what a collision. You don't wish this on your worst enemy. But yeah, this was a big time hit. Oh! Pressure on field. Oh, the helmet came off. That's going to be a flag. Remember that one. That's a big hit. Well, that ball is loose. <laughs> oh shit! Not only, not only the uh, the helmet, but the headband also. Lots to sort out. Prescott fires. Solid. Solid. Classic. Football shoulder charge hit. Shorts doesn't think so. Top of the 26 yard line and down he goes. And a flag comes in, two flags in fact, for that hit. Bobby McCain. Boomfer. That's what we call that in rugby, a boomfer. Lay it up, Dalton Schultz. Have you ever seen a guy catch his own penalty flag? I, I haven't. Shit on first down. Got him. Robbie. Over the middle, and it is Robbie. Oh! Anderson. Sideshow Rob gets absolutely folded in half like a deck chair. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Eric Harris! But, man, what's he got? Oh, huge hit there by Anderson. Are you kidding me? The center who keeps going to the 14 yard line. We've got an immaculate. Do you reckon that was a lateral or a, or a hit? I, look, your guess is as good as mine. Over the middle. Oh my goodness, what a hit and we get a flag. Demonte Casey on the big... Oh, that's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. On no one deserves that. Rogers brings it out. Good to see. You know, in a previous video, I, I did make the remark, look, I wouldn't get paid a million dollars to do that. And, well, needless to say, neither do these guys. They get paid 20 million. Usually it's Jamal Adams putting in the hits like that. Ton of time, throws deep that field, Adams cannot haul it in. And Devante is still down. Ball is out, and that goes right. Right under the chin. To the helmet. Call it an uppercut. The rookie out of Ohio State. And he's oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's up by You're kidding me. That was his first run. The rookie out of Ohio State playing for the 49ers. Now, who was that? Trey Sermon? Hey, Philadelphia with the huge takeaway. Flag is thrown on the play. Slay finally takes it out of bounds. What a turn. Here it was Trey. How the fuck did I know that? Philadelphia. No idea. Beautiful tackle technique. Wraps his arms around, keeps them wrapped. Now what's going to happen here? Is it going to be Fields who gets hit? Or his wide receiver? Pressure coming from the Steelers. Fields takes a look. I feel like it's going to be Fields. Out of there. And takes a big shot. Knocked out of bounds. Ball's 
spins, moving to his left, takes off. Needs to get to midfield, and he will not. <laughs> Fuck! Call it a corkscrew. Um, call it a first down. Either way, that's dangerous. That is one way to get absolutely stopped in your tracks. Wow. I mean, his feet are off the ground at the time. He's got absolutely no control. No control whatsoever. It's all up to what the defense wants to do. Here's the Jags. At 2-12 at this moment, playing the New York Jets at 3-11. The two worst teams in the league. Well, two of the three worst. That was a thump, all right. Off to throw and is well protected. And McLeod hammered, but he held on. There's Tracy. Now, that, it's times like these that even, you know, a guy who who doesn't like to tackle at the best of times, who who who, who would much rather run run with the ball in hand. You know, I, I tend to think, how, how do these safeties, how do these defensive players actually prefer to play defense over offense? And it's times like these. You know, it's times where you. You watch that quarterback, um, you watch that wide receiver, you see that ball go from the quarterback to the wide receiver. The wide receiver's not even looking at you. I mean, he's had to turn back to catch that ball, to make a catch. And, you know, you, as the defender coming in just as fast, just like a kamikaze pilot, you line him up, he turns back around, he's got no chance. You're going to smash him. And in this case, uh, smash him all the way out, out of the field. It's tackles like this, where the defender clearly has the upper hand, it could well sway me to want to play defense over offense. Mac Jones gets <laughs> gets absolutely flattened. <laughs> That's like a fucking Goldberg spear tackle from the WCW. Call that a pancake. No, that ain't a pancake. That's a Goldberg spear tackle. Just horrible. The All the way around. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> It's another one of those times where it, yeah, I'd probably rather be the defender there. And what can you do? The attack, he's got to, he's has to turn back to catch that ball, right? You can't be, can't be facing forwards and still expect to catch the ball. So you've got to turn back, you've got to take your eye off the, off the defense. And it's at that moment, if you can make a play, absorb the tackle and hold onto the ball, that's where you make your dollars. Oh, here we go. Watch this. Whoa! The big man. The big man somersaults uh, for the touch. Did he ca did he get the touchdown? Did he did he indeed cross cross the uh, the white line there? I can't remember. But what I can remember is this very shot. <laughs> this guy's 300 pounds, guys. 300 pounds going for a diving touchdown. And dive he did. Oh fuck! That's not good, man. That. Is he break dancing or playing NFL? Seriously, spin him round. <laughs> it looks like he's about to do a, a head spin, um, in which he does. Of sorts. Robert Hunt and at the 11, he'll keep it now on a design play. Sam Donald blasted as he gets to the three. Oh, big tackle! Oh my goodness, did he take a hit from Poye Aluka? I'm going to call that targeting. Legal hit, great hit. Well, in real time, it doesn't really seem like that, but... Kyler from his end zone, deep shot, got a man, and let's see. I was going to say, don't tell me that's Ramsey. I don't want to have to talk him up, but it's not, it's Scott. Had it, now they're talking about it. The Rodgers at the 14. Not the big 
biggest we've seen, but pretty big. But he did wrap it up. It's, it's you know, these guys who go in with some form of regard for their own safety, those are the tackles that I enjoy more because they're normally, you know, going for the hip, they're not going straight for the legs, they're not going in just with their shoulder, they're sort of more so the rugby style of tackle where, you know, you're, like I said, you've got some regard for your own safety. Guys like Jamal Adams, well, that's another story. Dozens. Drops it off, man. Yeah, they've been pretty bad. Business. He got crushed by Chandler Jones. Well, hits like that happen every single day. I'm not sure if that was the biggest to the 2021-22 season, but... It makes the list. The middle of the field is up on the Calvin Ridley. The ball comes out! And the Dolphins missed a chance to grab it on the second rebound. They did Boom with it. The official is saying it <laughs> Now I tell you what, that, that could have been a lot worse, a lot worse. The defender actually wanted to wrap him up and, and sort of dump him on his back, whereas he could have gone in there right in his chest with a shoulder, only a shoulder, and you know caused some real, real damage for Mr. Ridley. But not this time. Airborne has it, born, but he stayed on his feet, he did, that's a big shot. That was Jameer Jones, second five years. That was disgusting. That absolutely smoked. Oh my goodness. I hope he's okay. Oh, fuck. I'll tell you what. Now sometimes you see a collision and it's the, it's the helmet on helmet. It's the helmet on pad. It's the plastic and metal and you know anything but human flesh uh, hitting each other. That's sort of you know what makes this, this, this incredible sound this incredible explosion as these guys, you know, hit each other. But and and you know, I, I I tend to think that's what happened there. But we're going to have to slow it down. We're going to have to track this defender and see just what kind of velocity he was coming into the tackle with. So let's do that. Right, we're, we're, the tackler's here. He's closing in on the running back. The running back. The running back uses his blockers fairly well. Cuts up field. And it's just absolutely crushed. Drake. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. That absolutely smoked. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Kind of got bent back funny. That's absolutely horrible. That's a horror show. That is a horror movie. Well, I suppose you want a thousand yards, you're going to have to take some contact. Boy, he was hung out to dry, and Adrian Amos belted him. The 25 yard line, car once more, though. Stroke in the middle, and it's got big hit of Brian Edwards, who gets up. Jesse Bates laid him out. Stevenson slides through a couple of tackles, and then it's planted <laughs> by Sean. Where was Williams? Williams is just waiting for him. Watch this. Breaks a couple of tackles. We well, ain't getting past me, mate. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, no, no one wants a foot. No one wants. Look, no one wants to have a shoulder in the stomach. But if you've got a shoulder on top of a football in the stomach, you yeah, get me off, coach. I'm throwing up. Yeah, that's um, it's not good. Now watch this. Breaks one, breaks two. Breaks, breaks three. Slide through a couple of tackles, and then it's planted by Sean Williams. Oh my goodness, what a finish. But he can't get past Williams. Well, we all knew that was coming. He gets the completion right shit. I always think when the, the, the Browns play the, the um... The Bengals. I'm not going to say they're too successful. In fact, I feel like neither of those teams have had a playoff win for a very long time, except for the Bengals, because Joe Burrow and the Bengals just won their first playoff game in something like 25 years. I could be wrong. I could be right. You never know. Um,
tell you what, I'll tell you what, it's not often you see Rob Gronkowski get thrown to the ground like that. I reckon it's got something to do with the colour of the uniform. White's much better. He's not happy though. Maybe that was his rib Maybe that was his rib injury. He did have some sort of injury for a few weeks there, didn't he? Actually, let me see. I do want to check that because, you know, Gronkowski was a big part of my fantasy football team this year. Didn't help though. Right, what do we got here? Okay, in week three versus the Los Angeles Rams, in which he had four receptions for 55 yards, he took a hit that resulted in multiple rib fractures and a punctured lung, which kept him essentially out of action for the next seven weeks. Well, there you go, guys. That's what we just saw. Oh yeah, and he knew about it. He certainly knew about it. Now, this video I'm actually going to cut into three parts. Three parts, guys, why not? Well, you, you might ask, why? My question to you is, is why not? I mean, this video's gone for 15 minutes. We're going to be here for 45 at this rate, and we can't do that. I can't do that to you. I know my average viewer, and I know just how long you spend on each video. And it's about five to six minutes. So guys, thank you for watching. This is part one of three of the biggest hits of the 2021-22 season. Really hope you've enjoyed. First reaction video for a fair while, like I mentioned at the start. And, um, you know, it does take a wee bit to get back into it. But uh, we're rolling. We're rolling, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.